It's time for Ryan's Roses. Here's the scenario. If you use a sitter for the kids, imagine this. Or if you've got, like, the deal where it's guys night, girls night each week. So Angie in Riverside says, Dear Ryan and Sissy, my husband and I do a night out every week where he goes out with the guys and I go out with the girls. While we're gone, we have our sitter come over to watch the kids. What I've noticed recently is that he always seems to get home first and then sends her home. So she's not back. He's back chilling and she's gone. So, like, he's dismissed her. Mm -hmm. Um, I fear... He's using our nights out as a way to get me out while he goes back. So she thinks he pretends to go away with the guys, but sneaks back during the time she's away and, and hooks up with the sitter. That's what she thinks. It's so bad. I got to tell you, though, I've seen a lot of movies. It's not a smart idea to hire a hot nanny. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. I've I'm just with seen you on too that. many things. And no offense to hot nannies out there. I'm sure you're beautiful and you do great and you're great at your job, but it's I will never fair. hire you. Well, it's not, and that's not fair and you're discriminating. I know right? I am. I know I am, but I feel like more people should do that. All right. So let's get Angie on the phone. Hey, Angie, let me, thanks for coming on. Let me try and figure this out. Are you this babysitter? Can you describe this babysitter for me? Um, okay. She's short, black hair, brunette. She has dimples, um, big eyes, long lashes. Fake lashes, big boobs, of course. Yeah, why did you hire her? Yeah. I needed a sitter. Uh, Me and my husband, we wanted to start going out more because we were spending too much time with each other and starting to argue more. So we said, okay, let's have a date night. We go out on the same night, Mm -hmm. same time, different friends to give each other a break. You know what I mean? Did you you see her as a threat? Forget it for a second. Did you see her ever as a threat when you hired her? No, I'm just... I'm very annoyed with the whole situation. I just yeah. want to find out once and for all because Angie. what's really throwing me off is one day we go out and my girlfriend was running late and she sees him pull back into my driveway mm-hmm. when we're supposed to be on date night. So why are you coming See, back? So, to so you believe, I mean, he could have forgotten something, but you believe he's actually playing a charade where he gets dressed, leaves, waits, and then comes back and hooks up with her and then sends her home? I just don't know. I don't want to. But that's what you that. think could be I going just, on. <sighs> It could be. Have so, you seen them interact together? Well, not really. It's just because it, it's all in passing, and we're usually leaving out at the same time. And sometimes I leave after him, so he's not even there when she comes. So I don't really get to see the interaction, but I'm just kind of nervous. Just kind of nervous. Cause you got to set up a nanny know. cam. I do have a nanny cam. And can I just tell you about that really, really quick? Mm-hmm. The nanny cam has pauses in it. So one time when my friend told me she saw him come back, I checked the nanny cam and it was turned off. Please tell me why. Okay. Well, Please give me a valid logic. There's now there we're getting is. somewhere. Okay. Now yeah. we're underneath the earth's surface, getting closer to the earth's mantle. All right. <laughs> hold on for one second. We are going to come back and make the call. It is the call. We're making the call for Ryan's Roses. Angie thinks that when she and her husband have guys night, girls night, same night every week, that he leaves but comes back and hooks up with the babysitter. So let me grab Angie here. But but Angie said that the nanny cam was turned off. That, to me, is the smoking yeah, gun. Yeah, there's pauses in the nanny cam. Right, so there's edits, <laughs> or it's been shut down and turned back on. Yep. Angie, we're going to call your husband. How long have you been married? Five years. We are going to have Sisney offer your husband some roses. We want to find out where he sends them, like who the person is. And then also, if there's a note on the card, that can tell us a lot. But you have to stay quiet. Keith, yes, don't, please. Don't, I know you may want to react. Don't react until you hear us talking, okay? Okay. Would you say, Ryan, you have my permission to call him that, whatever your husband's name is on KISS FM? Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. Okay, here we go. Hello? Hi. May I speak to Sal? Oh, yeah. This is him. Hi, Sal. My name is Rachel. I'm calling from Festive Flowers. How are you doing this morning? Uh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm um, all right. Hi. I'm calling Sounds because, like a... we're, well, we're new to the area, and I'm calling because we're trying to promote a delivery service, and we're giving away free dozen roses. You can choose any color and send them to anybody that you'd like this morning. We're brand new here in Riverside. 
I really appreciate that, and I appreciate your time, but, you know, if you're going to ask my credit card in a couple of seconds, then no, I'm just going to... No, I pro- no, no credit card info, no billing info. They're absolutely free. We just hope that you, um, whoever, whoever receives them, likes them, and then kind of just word of mouth spreads about our business. We're actually right on uh, University Avenue. You know where the coffee house is? Very close to that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, like okay. the corner okay. of like Orange yeah, yeah, University. Yeah. You should stop okay. by cool. sometime, cool. but they're they're absolutely free. We can send them out. They can have them by lunchtime today. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't yeah. need any credit card info. I've, yeah, I've never I've never seen anything like this. Okay, sure. Uh, oh, okay, who's, what do I need to do? Yeah, I need the name of the person you want to send them to. We can start there. Uh, like just for the card? Um, just uh, well, the name is Angie. Uh, hey. she's my wife. And Angie, I guess if there's a card that goes with it, something real simple like uh, to my beautiful wife from your husband. To my beautiful wife from your husband. Oh, that's so cute. Sal, your voice is being broadcast on the radio. I need you to know that. And we have Angie, your wife, okay. on the phone. We have Angie, your wife, on the phone. Thank so you for sending, sending me uh, roses. You sure you want to send them to me, Sal? Are you sure? Well, wait a minute, but Angie. He, he did send them you. The, he did minute, send them I to you. Understand what's happening right now? No, I'm happy that you're sending me flowers. But I'm sure. I just want to make sure that I'm the correct recipient because the way things have been kind of going lately, I don't know. I have. I don't know. What are you talking about? What do you mean? No, I'm just. You're gonna have to be more to work with than that. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's if you don't know, then I'm not gonna know. How about that? Well, let me just tell you, Sal. She. Thinks you're hooking up with the babysitter on the guys' girls' night out. She said that you were seen coming back to the house after you left. What happened? Yeah, no, I, I'm not. I'm not sleeping with Monica. I'm not sleeping Wait, with what? the babysitter. No. So you're. So you go straight to sleeping with her? Yeah, that's a fair yeah. point. I was actually going to ask that too. You did really sound? make a leap I there. Mean, that, that's what you're trying to get at, right? I mean, that's what. Well, Sal, she thinks. What are you doing on your night out? What are you doing on your night out? I'm going out with my girlfriend. How come you never have a story to tell when you go out with your friends? When I come back and I say, "How how was it?" You say, "Fine." You give me Angie. one word answer. Angie. No, no, Angie. Me. What First are you all, doing? My friends are boring. My friends are boring. You know that. There ain't much to tell. Okay. Secondly, so why are you going? Getting us on the radio like this for nothing embarrassing us like this this is ridiculous this is silly i'm not embarrassed uh, and i'm not embarrassed because i want to know and if my friends it's embarrassing that my friend is seeing your car pull up back in the driveway after we're all out when you're supposed to be out that's embarrassing How and why that? is the, na- is the nanny cam being about? turned off is that what this is about because i went back to the house i forgot my charger and my phone was almost dead well, why is the nanny cam being turned off in some places, life? Sal? Why is there no nanny cam in certain portions of the tape? It's getting paused. I didn't even know that was a problem. Well, we're telling you it's a problem. You didn't know it was a problem. It is a big problem. So Huge. Why? Why? Are, okay. I, I don't Point know like, you Are you and Monica? Are you messing around with Monica? Are you messing around with Monica? No. No, I'm not, not messing at around all. with Monica. Do you flirt no, with her? Does she flirt with you? Oh, my God, Angie. Spit it out. Angie, Angie, Angie. Yes or no? Tell no. me. No, I have been telling you. No. All right. Uh, Angie, this is all we can do. We are going to let you sort it out. It sounds like you're still cynical. And Sal, she, she thinks you're messing around with the babysitter. I don't know yeah, what to tell you. You, you guys have been having problems in a relationship. It doesn't sound like it's getting better, but good luck, all right? Thank you yeah, thank so much. Yeah. Okay.